Blake Houston. There you go. I am more excited, however, going back, though, to Memorial Day weekend. How's the cards? At the feet, looks like he got away from it, though, so it's not going to be a hit by pitch, three and two. I've heard a lot of good things about House of Cards. Haven't seen it Fantastic yet. Fantastic show. Kevin Spacey is a genius. Houston delivers. It's going to be a walk. I've been binge watching two shows on Netflix, which I'll get, up, get to in a moment. But before you do, I just want to remind our viewers that this broadcast is brought to you by and in association with Brainwash. Brainwash is North Broward's online student-run publication. And whether it's great sports arts or lifestyle articles, poems or short stories written by North Broward's own student body or the latest buzz about what's happening around campus or around the world, BrainwashNBPS.com is the place to be for all of North Broward's finest writing. Indeed it is. I, got I still our, read it every once in a thank while. Thank you very much. We got our April Fools it. issue coming out very soon. Some great satire pieces. Won't give anything away, but certainly lots to look forward to in the Brainwash newsroom. As I was saying, I'm binge watching two series on Netflix right now. Two polar opposite series. One of them is Lucha Underground, professional wrestling Lucha Libre, which is fantastic. The other one is The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross. Those are very two different. I, I've never seen either show. But I have to imagine that they are extraordinarily different. You'd be surprised and that you're correct. One and two count now. Let me just recommend, though, you ever have trouble sleeping, put on an episode of Bob Ross, ten minutes, out like a light. Hits! Marcus Diaz, and there goes Houston's hopes of a lights-out inning. As there's now batters on first and second. Diaz is a baseball magnet. That's a second hit by pitch of the night. Well, it is true that he does like to stand very close to the plate. Jason Kendall was notorious for that back when he played for the Pittsburgh Pirates, getting as close to the plate as you can. Very true. It comes with the drawback of being vulnerable to the inside pitch, but you also draw a lot of hit by pitches. Derek Dietrich, even for the Miami Marlins last year, earned the nickname of Iron Man. He even found uh, ways to get hit by the baseball in unusual situations. I remember after he got hit by a pitch in uh, when he was up at bat later in the game because he was taken out of the game, I uh, went back to the dugout and then got hit again by a foul ball when he was in the dugout. All in one day's work. Iron outside, one and one now. But no, seriously, if you're ever having trouble sleeping, seriously, put on an episode of The Joy of Painting. You will thank me later when you wake up. Don't know if that's the best ringing endorsement for a TV show. No, it's wonderfully relaxing. Like, in the best... In, in, in my... In the best way, it's a compliment to the show that it is so relaxing. House of Cards is not relaxing, I'll give you. No, no, it's a drama series. It is. It's fantastic, though. Kevin Spacey. Kevin Spacey would be good at baseball. Well, there, there is a point in time where he's about to throw out the first pitch, and then something happens. I won't tell you what. Thank you. So that's the only uh, baseball outside. reference I guess I have for you. I have absolutely no idea if Kevin Spacey would be good at baseball or not. George W. Bush threw a pitch right down that the middle. That was a fantastic pitch in October of 2001 during the World Series. It was fantastic. Perfectly placed, of course. George Bush used to own the Texas Rangers. And his father played for the Yale University baseball team. There's actually a picture uh, floating out there somewhere of George H.W. Bush accepting a book from Babe Ruth at home plate. I did not know that. I believe both Bushes played Little League Baseball. Although As so did, did I, and I. And did I, and many other great Americans. Did I just accidentally associate <laughs> up with a list of great Americans? Well, who knows? We're both rather young. Things could turn, turn out, out nicely for the two of us. This is Bartich's fifth at bat of the game. One for three on the night. With a hit by pitch. Three hit by pitches. 
from North Broward to the Wolverines. Thankfully, none of them have incited any sort of sparks between the two teams. Ball is outside. As exciting as it is for us or you at home, it's not exciting for everyone else involved as there's a lot of ejections, suspensions, paperwork, and fines. Which of these things is unlike the other? Uh, we are straight from ejections and suspensions to paperwork. Seems slightly anticlimactic. Yeah, well, that's how things go in the real world, unfortunately. Not necessarily. If you watch House of Cards, which I maintain is the real world. Well, someone's got to do the paperwork somewhere in the White House. I think that's uh, reserved for Josh Lyman, although now we're mixing our White House TV shows. Of course, The West Wing, one of the best shows of all time. Another one I haven't seen. I'm not a big TV watcher, personally. Aaron Sorkin, a true legend. I've heard that it's great. True legend of uh, political dramas. Or political TV shows in general. Swing and a miss! Fooled out of the box! Looked absolutely silly. Well, I'll make the understatement of the day, which is that pitch was not what John Bardish was expecting. Hits that one on the ground to Goberville. Tags the runner, and that's going to be the end of the top of the seventh. North Broward at their last opportunity to make something happen. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, this is North Broward's final opportunity to mount a comeback. North Broward down against the Belen Jesuit Wolverines, three to nothing. Zach Goberville is stepping into the box, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Danny Brown taken out after six very successful innings, no runs given up, only two hits. Christian Winch is now in, and as you're about to see, I believe that Jesuit agrees with our assessment that the funky delivery is what's been messing up North Broward, because look at this, a submarine motion from Winch. And that's going to be very tricky for North Broward. Of course, we were having a small debate in the break in that, is it a submariner or a submariner as the proper term? That one is hit into the screen, the proper term for 
Someone who works on a submarine is a submariner. However, I maintain that because of the colloquial use of the submarine pitcher, that it is a submariner. How about he pitches in a submarine style? We can agree on that. How about this as Gobi slaps one into left center field? How about that? He's going for two, and he's going to have a stand-up double to start things off for North Broward. Exactly what they're looking for in this situation. Excellent hitting from Zach Goberville. I think giving some hope, starting a spark for North Broward. I think everyone in the ballpark was a little bit surprised on how good of a pitch Goberville got 0-2. What I was going to say was how about this? If you have an opinion on the Submariner <laughs> versus Submariner debate, go ahead and tweet us at Suck and Sam's Head at Ben Curtis NBPS. Your phonetic pronunciation. <laughs> you believe we should be using. Logan Quiet now the better. Hasn't had much going today. 0 for 2, two strikeouts. Looking to change that. Looks at the ball low, 1 and 0. You know, back when I played, I actually threw a sidearm. Not quite submarine, but I did throw a sidearm. Didn't do me any good. A lot of studies that the improper use of the sidearm can cause a lot of stress on kids' elbows. That's why a lot of parents don't teach their kids how to throw a curveball until a later age. It's a good idea, though, though that football curve that I mentioned a couple broadcasts ago that's distinctly over the top has come into fashion, and it really does work. Here's the pitch. Low again, 3-0. That's part of the danger of going so low, your knuckles basically scraping the ground, is that that's where the ball's going to end up if you're not careful. I think Winch is now the one who has to deal with keeping his composure. Well, here's his test. Fires it in for a strike, a little bit inside. Why is it quiet to lay, that, lay off that one? As we were discussing earlier in the game, hitting coaches tend to have opposite mindsets. Either you always look at the 3-0, or if you get a really good pitch, go ahead and swing. And by the way, as I like to say, think of this video as your own personal little instant replay as the video is a little bit behind. Too far inside, and that's going to bring up Ogo Zali. There's going to be a courtesy runner. It's going to be Jacob Gordon, number 25, coming in to run for the catcher. Part of the rules here in FHSAA action allowed for the pitcher and the catcher. We're going to uh, have a mound visit. Play some music. What does North Broward have to do to make sure they stay in this game now with a runner on first and second? Well, number one, they cannot, cannot, cannot make any base running errors. Jacob Gordon coming into this game fresh. He's got to be very, very alert. Also, North Broward cannot be over aggressive. They can't try to score four runs without the bases loaded. It's physically impossible, of course. So they just got to take it one pitch at a time. It sounds cliche. But uh, what Dylan Ogazelli has to do, just try to make contact, put the ball in play. Good things will happen. Also cannot try to go for the home run because he'll just end up with a flyout. Ogazelli, despite the 182 batting average, is known at least by us as kind of the king of the sacrifice fly. So maybe he'll be looking to use that to get an advantage for North Broward. There we go. A little bit of... Participation. Part audience audience participation. participation. There's a new pitcher already. That's what the issue is. Uh -huh. After just two batters, and, we already have a new pitcher. And he is distinctly over the top. That appears to be number 27, Alejandro Torres. And uh, this could be trouble. It absolutely could. We'll talk about him after you announce him. Well, Danny Brown, the starter, we said wasn't much for velocity. Enter Alejandro Torres, Mr. Velocity. He has not had the best of 